So you've got a DSLR, you got the gray box, you got all the information on the screen. You want to know how to make your HDMI clean because you bought a camera that doesn't have a clean HDMI out. I'm going to show you exactly how to remove all of the information on the screen, the gray focus box, and zoom in using the ATEM Mini Mini Pro so that the gray box goes away. Simplified, step by step. Let's get turbocharged. So the first thing you're going to need to do, especially if you have a Canon camera, this is a Canon. It's going to be about the same for every type of camera, though. The first thing we're going to do is we're, I'm going to head behind the camera and I'm going to start pressing the info button until the information on the screen disappears. And you'll be able to see it disappear right here over my shoulder. And voila, now the, all the information is gone. However, we still got that goofy focus box and it may be that you've got it set for eye. So how we're gonna shut that off is really simple. I'm gonna reach my hand over and I'm gonna put the lens in manual focus mode. All right, so the next thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to focus your camera. So my focal distance for my nose happens to be level with my microphone. So I'm gonna start there, I'll be right back. All right, simple enough. So now we should have a focus or a general focus. You can fine tune that with a second person or you can just continually do that until you get to where you wanna be. But now, we still have the gray box. Well, if you've got an ATEM Mini Pro, just follow these steps. I'm gonna make it really, really easy for you. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna use the upstream key in this case. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your uh, switcher on the bottom here. Then you're gonna to go to palettes and you're going to see upstream key one next thing you're going to do is you're going to select your camera my camera is not a gopro it's a canon in this case but you could do this with a gopro if it didn't have a clean hdmi out <clears throat> but anyway mine's on camera three setting and that's where it happens to be so the next thing so for my particular case uh, with the canon i can up and down the size and if you want to actually see what's happening while you do this, you're going to turn your next transition to on air. So you can see that is my on air. And for me, my settings are 1.19 by 1.19 for the size. My position is 0 and 0.3. Now, as you play with these, you're going to be able to see different things happen. Let's see if I can get on screen and show you from a different window what happens. So you can see I can zoom in and out here, and this is using my size. So what I want to do is I want to move it around. So you may start with something like this. Let's say that. And then you're going to do, use your position. And your position will move you left and right, as you can see. And your second position, to the right of that, will move you up and down. Now, the ones that I'm using, so position X and position Y. So position X moves you side to side. And you want to get that as centered as possible. Position Y, you're going to move that up and position yourself as centered as possible and then you're going to turn on your key which my in in this case is already on so that we can see what we're doing and then you're going to use your size button and you can see if you pull it down it gets smaller you pull it to the right and it gets bigger now see i'm a little offset there so I'm going to need to move left and right again. That's up and down. That's my Y axis. And a 
I'll go back to my X and that's going to move me left and right and centered again. Now I'm just going to grab my size and I'm going to zoom in just until the gray box goes away. So now if I want to switch to camera number one, all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off and boom, there's my camera number one, my camera number two, my camera number three is going to show up like this. So we've already done the size adjustment. All you have to do is turn on your on air button. And that's going to be right. I'll show you where that is. And that's going to be here. So there you go. That's all it takes to make your ATEM zoom, make all of your information go away, and make the gray box go away. If you like this video, please just give me a thumbs up. That's all I ask. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. Until next time, turbo out.